Okay, let's say you just got hired on a SIA LTL freight and you're gonna be a line haul driver. Here's some of what you might expect to happen when you first get started. Okay, y'all, yeah, once you get hired, it's like normal every place else, I guess. First thing you do is you'll go to an orientation and that's where they basically tell you everything you need to know about how SIA works. They use your insurance stuff, all that kind of stuff, all the paperwork, and you get a real general working knowledge on how things go. They may even go through the employee and line haul manual with you just to talk about specific procedures and policies and stuff like that. But you don't just jump in the truck the first night and take off, right? The first week that you're in line haul, you'll go with a trainer, five days. Now, depending on which trainer they put you with, some guys have nighttime bid runs and some trainers have daytime bid runs. So I would guess if you're just coming in, in line haul, you're gonna wanna go with the nighttime guy because that's probably what you'll be doing most of is nighttime running. But anyway, so you go with him and all the guys I know are pretty good, pretty thorough. And their basic job is not to teach you how to drive. They're gonna make sure that you're safe. That's for sure. But the base, the main thing that they're training you is how we do things at SIA. From the time you get to the yard to the time you get back to the yard. Now, if you don't have any, any experience hooking doubles and stuff like that, they're gonna show you that and go through that with you for five days. They're gonna get you in there hooking your set Tell them what SIA wants you to watch for, like the safety chains crossed and all the little particulars on that. And how to do the ELD, the handheld ELD, dispatching, arriving, make sure you got all the right numbers for central, for the terminal, for safety, all those things. And then there, you're just gonna run the run. You'll probably be doing all the driving all the way out, getting to the meet, dropping and hooking and swapping, doing all your pre and post trips, and then getting out of there on your 30 minute break. Now, once that's done, probably going to be a system driver. Unless you happen to come into a really small terminal that needs you on a bid run right away, probably gonna be a system driver. Now the way it worked for me in Dallas, it's a bigger terminal, and I'm assuming it basically works like this. It may be a little bit different in different terminals around the country. You're gonna come in on a Monday night, and I've talked about this before, real basically. You might go out and be back every day, or you might be on, get a lay down run and be out all week, or something in between. And I've only talked about that basically, but let me tell you, just from my experience on how it worked for me, and the best way that I handled all of that. When you come in, it's probably Monday night, be ready to stay out all week, no matter what. You don't, even if they tell you you're gonna have a turn that night on the phone before you come in, have your stuff, because you may say go to San Antonio, which you think is gonna be a turn, and they got a couple Harlingen traders sitting there, and they're gonna want you to take them, or Laredo, or over to Houston, when then you can't make it back to Dallas. So you gotta be ready every time. Now what I did was, I made sure I had at least five days worth of clothes. I had a big rolling suitcase, and I actually took a couple extra pair of everything just in case, you get diesel on you, whatever. You never know what's gonna happen, so make sure you take plenty of clothes, plenty of money for food. Now, some guys, I think, eat out all the time. I don't know how they afford that unless they're independently wealthy before they come here. I took my food for the whole week, and it didn't generally always last me the whole week but I had enough food basically for the whole week and how I took it was I had a thermoelectric cooler plugs into the 12 volt cigarette lighter right and it was big enough where I could stack in there enough whatever I was taking at the time meats and snacks you know things that needed to be refrigerated fruit yogurt I think I was taking at the time and I could get a whole week's worth of food in there right now I also had a, a converter for that cooler, right? 
not an inverter but a cooler because it ran off a 12 volt dc but when i get to the hotels i'd haul my bag and the cooler into the room and this converter converts it from 12 volt dc to 110 in the wall outlet so you didn't have to take your food in and out of a refrigerator in a hotel every day plus you get to a hotel and they may not have a refrigerator in that room i haven't seen one in a long time it didn't but they're out there and the one you get may not work as well as you want it to work so you just keep that cool going and then your food's good, your food's good for the week so like i said be ready to go out all week and actually for me back when i did system driver driving that was the best way to make the most money tell them you want to get out and go maybe even on sunday night if they'll get you out on sunday night tell central give me a lay down keep me out and they know you want to keep out as long as they got the freight they'll pretty much you know keep you out as long as you run good and on time all that good stuff but yeah that's how i did a system driving and how long you stay a system driver can vary. I was about a year and a half, I guess. And I could have gotten a bit earlier than I did, but the ones that are available just didn't have enough miles, so I stayed in the system. Or you could, we got guys that have been here a long time and just like running the system, and they do that. And they're number one on the system board. So what they usually end up doing is they'll take people's vacation, take their run while they're on vacation each week. And so they'll be on the same thing all week or they might like to run wild. They'll say, I just want to run wild. Works pretty good. But that's the way to make the money in the system. So that's what you can expect coming to SIA as a first time line haul driver. I'm sure there's more to it than that. If you got any questions, go down in the comments and ask me. And then go down in the description, check out all my links. And if you want to come to work for SIA, the SIA employment website is down there in the description. Send me an email and I will send you my referral information. Check out all the other links I got. I think I got a few down there. Subscribe to this channel, please, if you have not done so already. Like this video and we'll see you later.